Don't make this mistake in your next solar RV system. Hi, my name is Benjamin. I'm a solar application engineer here at NOS Solar Electric. And today we're gonna to help you plug into solar. We're gonna explore this 40 volt RV solar system behind me, powered by Victron equipment and Discover Lithium batteries. Let's take a look. Inside this bay, we're gonna find all the Victron equipment and Discover batteries. There are two 5K 48 volt multi-plus inverters from Victron, three charge controllers, and three Discover AS rack mount batteries, all 48 volts. The Discover AS rack mount batteries are connected to the servo with closed loop communication. The advantages of closed loop communication is the batteries providing information directly to Victron, allowing us to accurately charge and discharge these batteries. These inverters are configured in a 120, 240 volt split phase configuration. That is so we can power all the loads here in this 50 amp 120, 240 RV. We have three Victron 150, 35 smart solar charge controllers here in this rig, all charging the 48 volt Discover lithium battery. That's pretty much all that we have here. We're gonna shut this and go up to the roof. Up here on the roof of the RV, we have six REC 420 watt alpha panels, totaling about 2,500 watts of solar. We have two panels wired in series per charge controller, so about 840 watts. They're output about 60 volts each, so we have about 120 volts going into each charge controller. Up in the front of the RV, we have a junction box where three pairs of conductors are going down into the pass-through to the charge controllers. Here in the front bay, we have the DC to DC converter powering all of our 12 volt loads off of the batteries, and we also have the generator. The 12 volt battery here in this system powers the trailer brakes, starts the generator, and powers large 12 volt loads. The battery is constantly maintained by the Victron 4812 DC to DC converter, making sure that it's always charged when you're ready to use it. Here in the office of the RV, we have the display from Victron. It's an overview of the entire system. Here, the display is showing us that we have about 2000 watts of loads. We have about 77% left in our batteries and how much we're currently using. We have about a thousand, a little over a thousand watts of solar and about a hundred watts of loads. We also have the generator interface here where we can manually start the generator. We can also go into the menus and see detailed information on the batteries, the inverter, the charge controllers, and any other Victron equipment we have in the system. This Servo GX touch panel here allows us to control the entire system just from a few clicks. All right, let's go talk about why you might want to do a system like this. RVs have a few challenges compared to off-grid places and even grid type places. Some of these limitations would be roof space on the roof. Oftentimes there's air conditioning units and other obstacles we need to work around. Plus the overall space is usually smaller compared to what we really want for energy production. We also have very small limited space for storage of batteries and inverters. And because most RVs use large loads, like air conditioning units and fridges, we need large inverters that just take up space. This system is unique because we have large loads and the customer wanted to be able to run them all without having any limitations. Most RVs, a 3000 watt inverter, 12 volts is doable because we have smaller loads and less of them. This system has two large air conditioning units and a whole bunch of appliances 3,000 watts would not have cut it. So we needed multiple bigger inverters. To using two 5K Victron inverters, 12 volts is just not practical due to wire size limitations, current limitations, and just battery bank capacity is just not practical for 12 volts. So we chose 48 volts for this system. You might be wondering, why would you go 24 volts or 48 volts? For systems that require a 3000 watt inverter or smaller, 12 volts is the way to go. But for inverter systems where we have 6,000 watts, up to 6,000 watts, 24 volts would be needed due to wire size and current limitations on the DC bus. 
for even larger systems, like a 10,000 watt dual inverter 5K system, we would go 48 volts to minimize wire current demands and to optimize efficiency. Having a split phase inverter system for large RVs is critical because we do not want to overload the neutral conductor, which is unprotected. We don't want to pull more than 50 amps through that conductor. In a split phase configuration, the current from L1 is canceled out by L2, so we only see the difference, which protects the neutral wire. For systems with parallel Victron inverters, we also have to take into account that each inverter has a minimum shore power requirement to pull from shore power. When we have two Victron 3K inverters, oftentimes the minimum amount that we must or can, can pull from the shore power is greater than a 15 amp plug. So having two inverters paralleled, oftentimes that reduces the connections that we can make. There's a few advantages to a Victron split phase system. There are a lot of people out there that have 240 volt mini splits and other 240 volt loads in their RV and must have 240 to run those appliances. A Victron split phase inverter system can be configured where we can accept a 30 amp 120 volt source or even a 15 amp 120 volt source but still have 240 for those large appliances like mini splits and other loads. How does Victron Systems still maintain 240 volts even connected to 120? The two inverters can remain powering 240 volt loads but connect to a 120 volt source. This is done by the inverter on L1 connecting, shifting and connecting to the grid power but also shifting the power on L2 on that inverter so that it remains 180 degrees out of phase, providing you 240 for those critical 240 volt loads. You might be worried that going 48 volts, so you're gonna lose all of your 12 volt loads and the features in your RV that are required for 12 volts. This is not the case. Oftentimes we can have a 48 volt system designed to power all the large AC loads and then have a little DC to DC converter that steps 48 volts down to 12 volts, powering 12 volt loads and maintaining the 12 volt battery in the rig so that you can use all of your 12 volt loads. You wanna keep the 12 volt battery in your rig. The 12 volt battery acts as a buffer for large loads, like your slide outs, your generator, things that take a lot of surge at the beginning to start. The 12 volt battery is gonna be maintained by the 48 to 12 volt DC to DC converter so that it's always topped up, ready to provide large current for your large 12 volt appliances. Why do we want to use REC panels, Victron equipment, and Discover batteries in the system? REC is developed. They've been around for many years. They have a great warranty. They support their products. These REC 420s, they're top of the line panels. They have heterojunction technology in them, allowing for optimal production and low light conditions and help mitigate shading of their panels. These REC panels are also very strong and durable. They have bracing in the back of the panels that help on RVs with vibration and movement. And they output what they say they output. Um, oftentimes we even see them 5, 10 watts above what they're rated for. Victron equipment is the way to go for RV application. It is designed for mobile applications, RVs, boats. This is due to the robustness of the inverter itself, the charge controllers. It's very scalable, allowing you to have many different charge controllers depending on your application. Inverters are scalable. They are built for vibration and movement. And we also have the ability to be able to see the whole system all in one display. Your Servo GX display can show us how the inverters are operating, what they're powering, how much solar we have coming in, how our battery's doing. We can see that all from the Servo GX touch panel, from our smartphone, or even on their remote monitoring platform. Victron has tons of information for you at your fingertips. Victron inverters have the ability to make a neutral ground bond allowing us to be able to connect to shore power at some times and not be connected to shore power at other times. This feature is critical in designing of an RV system.
what advantages do we have with Discover batteries? Discover batteries are optimal for RV application. They have 12 volts, 24, 48 volt lithium batteries that are all heated options. RVs aren't always in hot weather. Sometimes you're parking them in winter conditions and a heated battery, a heated lithium battery is optimal, allowing us to not have to worry about the battery getting cold and not being able to charge it or use that battery capacity. An important aspect related to Victron and lithium batteries is communication. Discover has the link too that allows us to communicate battery information directly to the servo, eliminating the need for a battery monitor because that information is coming directly from the batteries. These Discover batteries can provide a lot of power per battery, providing the two Victron 5Ks with enough power to power all of your loads. This is not the case with most lithium batteries. They all have a, a current limitation. Discover is 100% power output. If you're thinking about doing a large powerful system, going 12 volts is a mistake. You really wanna go 48 volts. To have enough power to power your loads, have enough power to um, run anything you want, but be able to have a very compact system, 48 volts is the way to go. Thanks for watching this video. Please consider liking and subscribing. We have many more videos in this series to come. For example, selecting solar panels and charge controllers for your RV, inverter selection and programming for your particular RV, discover lithium batteries with closed loop communication and much, much more to come.